equation, we have to calculate the standard enthalpy change of this reaction. Solid sodium bicarbonate converts to solid sodium carbonate, liquid water and gaseous carbon dioxide. Two experiments were carried out at room temperature to find the standard enthalpy change of this reaction. Question number one. Calculate the enthalpy changes in kilojoules per mole of the reactions given in steps 1 and 2 above. During step 1, 0 0.08 moles of solid sodium bicarbonate was added to 100 cubic centimeters of 1 moles per cubic decimeter aqueous HCl solution. Maximum temperature fall of this final system was 5 degrees Celsius. That means temperature of this final mixture decreases when this reaction takes place. When solid sodium carbonate mixed with aqueous HCl, they absorbed energy from the surroundings. Therefore, final temperature decreases when this reaction takes place. That means the reaction is endothermic. The sign of delta H is positive. First, we will calculate the heat change associated with this reaction. For that, we can use the equation Q equals mc delta T. m is the mass, c specific heat capacity, delta T that is the temperature change. But mass of the final solution was not given. Volume of the final solution and the density were given in the question. Therefore, we can rearrange this equation. Density is mass over volume therefore mass equals density times volume instead of mass we can use dv density times volume now we can write the new equation q equals dv specific heat capacity delta t substitute values density equals 1 grams per cubic centimeter, volume is 100 cubic centimeters, specific heat capacity is 4 joules per gram per kelvin, temperature change is 5 kelvin. The answer is 2000 joules. We have to express the enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole. Therefore, we will convert this answer into kilojoules. 2000 divided by 1000 it gives you 2 kilojoules. We have found this reaction is endothermic. Therefore, 2 kilojoules of heat has been absorbed when 0 0.08 moles of sodium bicarbonate reacts with the given HCl solution. Absorbed amount of heat when 0 0.08 moles of solid sodium carbonate reacted is 2 kilojoules. Therefore, we have to calculate the absorbed amount of heat when 1 mole of solid sodium carbonate reacted. For that, this 2 kilojoules you need to divide by 0 0.08 moles. Then you can calculate the absorbed amount of heat when 1 mole of solid sodium carbonate reacted. Initially, we found that this reaction is endothermic. Therefore, we have to indicate the sign as well. Enthalpy change of this reaction equals 2 kilojoules divided by 0 0.08 moles. Therefore, the final answer is positive 25 kilojoules per mole. During step 2, 0 0.04 moles of solid sodium carbonate 
was added to 100 cubic centimeters of 1 moles per cubic decimeter aqueous HCl solution. Maximum temperature rise of this final solution was 3.5 degrees Celsius. That means temperature of the final solution increases when solid sodium carbonate reacted with aqueous HCl. When solid sodium carbonate reacts with aqueous HCl, heat releases and the released amount of heat was absorbed by the surroundings. Therefore, temperature of this surrounding increases when this reaction takes place. That is why we can see this maximum temperature rise of 3.5 degrees Celsius. Therefore, this reaction is exothermic and the sign of delta H is negative. First, we will calculate the released amount of heat during this reaction. For that, we need Q equals mc delta T. As previous, the mass of this solution is not given. Therefore, we can rearrange this equation using volume and density. Density equals 1 grams per cubic centimeter. Volume is 100 cubic centimeters. Specific heat capacity is 4 joules per gram per Kelvin. Temperature change is 3.5 Kelvin. The answer is 1400 joules or we can write 1.4 kilojoules. Amount of released heat when 0 0.04 moles of solid sodium carbonate reacts with the given HCl solution is 1.4 kilojoule. Therefore, to calculate the enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole, we need to calculate the released amount of heat when 1 mole of solid sodium carbonate reacts with the given solution of HCl. Enthalpy change equals 1.4 4 kilojoules divided by 0 0.04 moles. At the same time, don't forget to use the negative sign because heat is released during this reaction. Therefore, the answer is minus 35 kilojoules per mole. Question number 2. Using the values obtained in question number 1 above, and a thermochemical cycle calculate the standard enthalpy change of the following reaction. First, we will write down the given balance chemical equation and we will mark the enthalpy change delta H0. During question number one, we have calculated the standard enthalpy change of the reaction between solid sodium carbonate and aqueous HCl. Then, we have calculated the standard enthalpy change of the reaction between solid sodium bicarbonate and aqueous HCl. Now, we will try to construct this thermochemical cycle using these data. When solid sodium carbonate reacts with HCl, it produces sodium chloride, water and carbon dioxide gas. When 1 mole of solid sodium carbonate reacts with 2 moles of aqueous HCl, it produces 2 moles of aqueous NaCl. Sodium chloride is a strong electrolyte. Therefore, it completely dissociates in aqueous solutions. Therefore, we can write aqueous sodium plus ions and aqueous chloride ions. 1 mole of liquid water and 1 mole of gaseous carbon dioxide. Enthalpy change of this reaction is minus 35 kilojoules per mole. In a thermochemical cycle, number of atoms in each level should be the same. Therefore, we have to check the number of atoms in these two levels. Two sodium atoms, two carbon atoms are there. Therefore, we can add number two to carbon dioxide. Next. 4 hydrogen atoms on this level. Therefore, we can add 2 H2O. Number of oxygen atoms are also balanced. 
now we will move to the reaction between solid sodium carbonate and aqueous HCl. Two moles of solid sodium bicarbonates are present in this equation. Therefore, for the complete reaction, we need two moles of aqueous HCl. When two moles of solid sodium bicarbonate reacts with two moles of aqueous HCl, they produce two moles of aqueous sodium chloride, two moles of liquid water, and two moles of gaseous carbon dioxide. Enthalpy change of this reaction when 1 mole of solid sodium bicarbonate reacts with 1 mole of aqueous HCl is positive 25 kilojoules per mole. But during this reaction, 2 moles of solid sodium bicarbonate reacts with 2 moles of aqueous HCl. Therefore, the total enthalpy change involved in this reaction is twice than the given equation. Therefore, we can write 2 into 25 kilojoules per mole. Number of atoms on these three levels are the same. Therefore, our thermochemical cycle is complete. According to Hess's law, enthalpy change of this path 1 is equal to the enthalpy change of this path 2. Therefore, we can write, according to the Hess's law, delta H0 plus negative 35 kilojoules per mole equals 50 kilojoules per mole. Therefore, enthalpy change of this reaction is positive 85 kilojoules per mole. This is the answer for the question number 2. Question number 3. State the condition under which a heat change of a reaction is equal to its enthalpy change. That is constant pressure. Under constant pressure, heat change of a reaction is equal to its enthalpy change. Question number 4. Identify two sources of error in this above experimental procedure. During this experiment, they didn't use a calorimeter. Therefore, definitely there is heat loss to the environment. We can write calorimeter is not used. Therefore, heat loss to the environment. Number two. During these reactions, other than this neutralization between acidic species and the basic species, definitely there is another enthalpy change involved. That is dissolution of these solids. We can write dissolution enthalpies of solids are not considered during the experiment. 